Hello there viewers, so today we'll be learning about graph sketching and I'll be mainly using about the technique of shifting up, shifting down and also a negative graph. Okay, so let's start with y equals to x which is the easiest one linear graph. For y equals to x, the graph goes like a straight line which is we call it as a linear. This is because when the value of y will follow of x, when x is negative 3, y is negative 3, when x is negative 2, y is negative 2 until so on for the positive case. For the domain and part, for the domain part, well, you can see that if your domain, it follow more of the x-axis. X-axis, oh, sorry. So, if I would like, okay, the domain follow the x-axis. So, if from the x-axis, I draw a line, I will hit the graph. So, it goes from 0 until positive infinity, and it goes so on as well. It holds true as well for the negative side. So zero until infinity and negative infinity, infinity until z until z from zero to until negative infinity, which I can write down as this, or I can just write down as all real numbers. Okay. Well, for the y-axis, which is all the range, you can see if I move from here, I will still hit the graph. I will hit the graph. For it, so it holds true for the zero until infinity, and also holds true from zero until negative infinity. Okay. So that's why I got myself negative infinity and infinity. Or is if you just want to play smart, you just write down all real numbers, all real numbers. Okay, so now how does the graph of y equals to x plus 3 looks like? Well, compare it to our y equals to x. I mean, the y equals to x is a linear graph. y equals to x plus 3, the graph shifted up by plus 3. Okay, you can see instead of intercepting at 0, now it goes up intercepting at 3. The domain and range for this graph remain the same as because as we did just now, okay, I can see from the x-axis, I go up, I go up, and I go up. I will stay through and hit the graph. While for the x-axis, it goes the same as well for the negative direction, which I can write down as all the numbers. And it holds true for the range where I move from here, I will hit the graph. Basically, the idea of range is from the y axis, can you hit the graph or not? Okay. Now, what about for y equals to x minus 3? Well, we have learned just now when I put plus 3 here, the graph will shift it up by plus 3. Now, so for the minus 3 here, it will shift down by negative 3. Instead of intercepting at 0 for y equals to x, now it goes down intercepting at y equals to negative 3. Okay. Well, there are other values that you can find as well over here that if you're interested in finding this one well the value of x here the value of x the value of y over here is 0 so you can see here is y so when let y equals to 0 so 0 equals to x plus 3 x is negative 3 so here is negative 3 same goes for this case, the value of here, where y is 0, let y equals to 0, so 0 equal to x minus 3, x equals to, sorry about it, x equals to 3, here is 3. But for graph sketching, uh, you might want to need it whenever it's got that kind of deception. Okay, so the domain and range for this one is still the same as up there, all real numbers, until the range is all real numbers as well. Okay, so now let's go a bit complex. What about y equals to negative x? Well, for this kind of case, you might have known, the graph goes the other way around. Okay, why does this happen? Well, if you put the numbers in for negative x equals to y, well, the negative 3, when I multiply with negative, I got myself a positive. So negative 3 is over here, let's say, negative 3. So now I got myself a positive 3. And what about for 3? 3 times negative, I got myself a negative 3. So let's say over here 3, so it goes down here, negative 3. So that's how the graph of y equals negative x is the other way around. Okay? That's a bit complex. Now let's make. Now what about for the graph y equals to negative x plus 3? Well, how do we know about negative x just now that it goes down? Then? Instead, y equals to x is this way, so negative x is this way. What happened to plus 3? Well, it shifted up. So in this case, negative x, now it shifted up by 3. Okay, that's how you got it. 
oh yeah this plus 3 here this is 3 because it's now it intercept at 0 now it intercept at 3 and for this one here you can say that uh, y equals to 0 so 0 equals to negative x plus 3 so x is equals to 3 boom yeah, I think better to put down that or when domain and range remains the same for this type of graph of linear or in numbers or in numbers okay now what about y equals to negative x minus 3 well let's start just now negative x how does the graph looks like it goes this way so negative 3 3 here what does it do it shift down by negative 3 so this is how it got for the graph okay so that I've mentioned just now so what about here here is negative 3 because the origin for this one here it goes origin 0 so we shift down so it goes to negative 3 how do we calculate this one here you let y equals to 0 so we got ourselves 0 equals to negative x minus 3 so x equals to negative 3 Okay, that's all for linear graph. I hope you understand and get them. Oh yeah, please do not forget to label your graph because you might be penalized full marks if you forgot to pen mark it down. Okay, so that's our, we'll go on until for the next graph. Things are going to get harder and harder. So hopefully you manage to catch up with them. So please comment, share, like and subscribe to the video. Thank you.